how many times have I learned this in my life? Like how many times have I been reminded of this? Seriously, like I, so I typed this up a few days ago cause I was just like, oh, this would be like a good thing to talk about. And this is what I'm thinking about right now. Um, I'm glad I actually feel like a lot better today, but I've been in a depressive episode for like almost two weeks. The last couple days have been rough and I'm finally like feeling like a turn but I think it might be a trick because I had like a kind of turn like last week and then it like turned back. So, but I'm going to take my little turn that I can get today. Um, uh, baby steps, basically baby steps. Like I feel like we even talked about this in a video, but I'm just back here again because I just am. I am definitely an all or nothing thinker. And I need to remember this. Like I really, really need to remember this. Because it, for me, it's always like, if I'm gonna make any change or I'm gonna do anything, it has to be 100% or there's even no point. And I feel like I would learn because even with like my YouTube videos, like sometimes they're late, sometimes I miss weeks. Like it's just, it's happened. It's just how it goes. It's how, like what happens with, like what goes on in my head. Like sometimes I have to like take, a, sometimes I just literally can't get myself to do stuff. Like sometimes I just have to take a break. Like sometimes I just don't have control over my brain and I don't have control over the chemistry in it. Like, that's just how it goes. So, but I keep going. Like, I still just keep doing it. I'm like, it's fine, get past it, get back to like a normal-ish, and like, it's cool. But I don't remember that with anything else in my life. <laughs> like, I'm literally like, oh my God, it just like screwed this up. So like, for example, if I'm like, gonna start eating healthier because it's literally just been like, on my mind for I don't know 14 years or something like seriously since high school uh like soon into high school because after I stopped playing softball my weight went up and that was sophomore year so that's it so 13 years it would have been like 13 years of like I could eat healthier and I like for me it's like it has to be all like salads and smoothies and like juices and otherwise it's not worth it honey <laughs> that's so not the case so i've been like kind of reading quotes and like remembering and like realizing again for the umpteenth time in my life that baby steps matter or i have written on here any small change matters like any little bit counts i have a hair in my eye so I like this is what this one is like about diet and like general health because like I'm good at work and like I'm pretty good about like getting on my YouTube and other stuff done. So for me, like really is something that I need to work on is just taking care of myself in all forms, like with what I eat and my activity level and like having time to relax and like read or whatever the heck I want to do. Like that's definitely what I need to work on at the moment. And that's why like last week I talked about sleep and like getting into a sleep routine and like learning about sleep. So I've learned some stuff. I'm starting to work on it. Um, but any small change matters. And I know this, but I just am like, well, if I have ice cream once a week, then it's just all blown. It's not like, it's not, it's not, it's not. First of all, I'm not going to go from eating as much ice cream as I can eat, which is plenty to nothing. It's just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Also, I don't want it to happen. I love ice cream. I love it. I love it. And I love like going out for dessert and there's this like burger shop that is literally right next to where I work and they know me by name and they know my order because I get it almost every week like and it's a local business and I love supporting them and they're like my favorite fries and they make really good milkshakes and like I love it and like I'm not just gonna stop going there because I should eat healthier like I can eat healthier and like still have my fries and milkshake and support a local business like it's fine you need to calm down like stop it what do I even have written on here because now I'm just like trying to like talk to myself but not really I don't know I don't really know what I'm doing but like it's 
fine. It's, I'm not expecting myself to go from zero to a hundred. I have that written on here actually. Okay, so I'm jumping all over the place. I feel like if you watch these videos, you just know, like, I'm not really that put together. Like, it's just going to come out, hopefully it makes sense. So, I literally have in this. Right now, my expectations are, like, level 100. And I'm, like, level 5. Sometimes I feel like a level, like, 10 on, like, the healthy scale. But my goals are, like, level 100. Like, has to be, like, right, all these raw salads and, like, raw food and, like, vegetables at every meal. You can't eat anything. It's not, like, the least unhealthy thing I could eat is my chocolate chips on my oatmeal. Like, honey, calm down. But, and I write, next thing I write is, honestly, I think I would just like to get to level 80. Like, 80 sounds good. 100 sounds like too much for me, personally. <laughs> That's so true. So I picture it as, like, a scale. And then like zero to a hundred I'm like whatever I kind of see like everything on a scale there's not too many things that I really see are like black and white or like good and bad like it's all really a spectrum and just kind of where you fall on that spectrum and like moving along it that's just really how I see almost everything and health or like caring for yourself is one of those things too so right now I'm low on the spectrum <laughs> um Definitely, I'm pro I probably don't give myself as much credit as I should, but I'm still, like, definitely in, like, the lowest quarter or fifth. Like, I'm down there. Um, and I'm really at, like, you know, like, 80% healthiness, whatever. 80% of, like, caring for myself. <laughs> That's not the right words. Like, health. We'll just say health. Let's go 80% of health. It's, like, would be good, you know? Because... A, I love salads and like roasted vegetables and stuff, but then I can also have my ice cream and I can have my fries and my milkshake and like pretty much when I get those, that's like all I eat that day because it, I get, like that's like really one of the only things that fill me up is fries and a milkshake from Hardee's. <laughs> like that's pretty much it. Um, nothing else really fills me up. <laughs> so they win. Um, they have really good mac and cheese too. Oh, not mac and cheese. Grilled cheese, oh, but I love mac and cheese too. Um, the Panera mac and cheese, because you can get it at like Safeway and it has like vegetables in it too, but like it's, it's so good. I'm just getting caught up on food. Um, so what am I even talking about? I'm sorry, this makes like no sense. So basically baby steps and like any small change matters. And what I'm focusing on, working on, will forever the rest of my life be working on is like taking better care of myself and the thing I come to first is food because that would make the biggest difference. Like one of the biggest differences would be eating healthier and going from like that five, 10% that I'm normally at of like the health scale or food healthiness scale to like 80%. Cause then I can like still have things I love and aren't healthy, but then you get that kind of like moderation type thing going on. But you also have to know how to moderate to get to moderation. But so like for me, it makes sense to be like, you know, is have I hit my 80% so I can have my 20 type of thing? Or like, have I already used my 20 so I need to stay in my 80? Like, I don't know, that just kind of works better for me to have numbers instead of like, that's not moderation. Like, have you seen me eat? It's not moderate, like, that's not how it goes. Um, so, yes, wow. I just feel like I'm talking to myself right now and trying to just like teach myself things. So, anything matters and i read something again that i read so many times that was um basically like anything worth doing is doing badly um and somebody else kind of brought it up in percentages too like anything that's worth doing for like you know 15 minutes is worth doing for five minutes right like anything better than zero is better than zero like it doesn't have to be a hundred percent for it to be good like if you can't whatever like take a shower you know like changing your clothes is like better than doing nothing right like if i literally just want to eat ice cream all day like you know throwing in an apple is better than like just eating ice cream all day like yeah i had a lot of ice cream but, like also i had an apple so like that's something right like that's some amount of effort that's some amount of like better than zero type of thing and that is really a mindset that i've been trying to get to 
four years, literal years, and I still get stuck in all or nothing. I still really get stuck there with a lot of things. There are some things that I've kind of broken out of there a bit, but I still get stuck in all or nothing. I have not given up yet, and I'm still very proud of myself for never, like, for not having given up. I'm still definitely trying. Um, but I, like, fight that constantly. What else did I say? I feel like I typed some other things that were good. Okay. Um, oh yeah. So my like level 80 or like 80% out of a hundred, like somewhere kind of in that range on the scale, any small thing is good. Like I had two vegetables today. No, it's not eight vegetables. No, I didn't make a green juice. No, but I had two vegetables and two is better than zero. You know, I stood at my window today to get some sun and fresh air. No, it's not an hour in the gym, but it's way better than staying in bed all day. Like, just that sun and air, like, anything is better than nothing. Um, I'm trying to ingrain that into my subconscious so it becomes who I am. Do I want to do more than zero? Yes, absolutely. But to just start, do, oh, do I want to do, oh, I gotcha, I missed a word. Do I want to do more than, more than zero? Yes. <laughs> but to start just do more than zero. Like I stop myself from scrolling on social media after an hour instead of two hours. Bam, that's a win. It changes my mindset. Instead of something not being good enough, it's more than I usually do. So it's a win and it's a pat on the back. And I think that's awesome. I need to remember that for yesterday because I'm like behind in editing. It just is what it is right now. Um, thanks COVID and depression. Appreciate you both. And I've been really struggling to edit for a while and yesterday I was just like really getting on myself like I was just scrolling on Pinterest I didn't want to do anything when I was sitting there thinking about it, like I was trying to kind of talk myself into it just kind of figure out like what is going on in my head what do I need and I was like I literally and I was like I just want to lay here and do nothing like that's what I need now like if I was gonna do anything honestly editing sounds good but I don't even want to edit um but then after like a little bit of just being like, okay, blank mind, blank room, like nothing, I then got some editing done. Like, no, I didn't get very much done. I only did it for like 45 minutes or something, but 45 minutes is better than nothing. Does it still keep me behind? Absolutely, absolutely. But it's better than nothing. And doing even a little bit of work is better than nothing. Taking a little bit of care of myself is better than nothing. And I think also just reminds me too that like I'm important and I can care for me and that helps. Like even just the little bit of like stepping back and caring for myself helps. And I have not been very good at it this year. Typically during depressive episodes, I'm better at it. Not quite so much this year though. I've kind of been struggling, but it's something that I think would be important to remember kind of all the time. Like any little bit of self-care helps. Like, sure, I'm not getting up at like five o'clock in the morning doing like three hours of self-care before I get ready for work. But like, you know, if I get up and like read for 30 minutes before work, then like that is good. And you know, anything better than zero is good it's just it's just good any of those little steps are good and maybe after a week like i had stopped and then like a week later i start again or whatever but even in those little times like that that's still a good thing maybe i only did it for a week but like for that week i had that like little bit of just extra of good i had that that little small thing and i just need to take take that take that and just not think about the rest I don't know if that made any sense hopefully the last couple minutes made sense but like I know that was a lot Edgar I just put you outside literally 15 minutes ago before I started this video so you need to please stop it right now um but yeah hopefully that made sense in any kind of sense I don't know I think I just needed this I mean it's how personal development is it's personal and I just needed this and I, I'm going to need this so many times the rest of my life. Baby steps count. Small changes count. Anything better than zero is better than zero. And it's worth it. It's worth it. So yeah, I think that's all I have today. Sorry, that one was really crazy. And I hope you have a good day.